Weight Tech, uh, uh, Department of Skilled Trades. Um, our presentation today is Skilled Trades, Tools for Trades, Skills for Life. I uh, just want to go over um, information as it relates to our, our different classes and programs here in uh, Workforce Continuing Ed at Weight Tech. Um, about Skilled Trades and Construction and Maintenance. Um, We've got a lot of different programs. Uh, they vary from uh, one month to six months. Um, you can go and take uh, these types of classes uh, and get a skilled trade certification for high demand construction jobs. Uh, a lot of our classes uh, are providing you hands-on training to prepare you for the real world. Um, you'll learn how our training options and support services can uh, help both your uh, education be accessible and affordable. Also too, we offer a wide variety of classes in Spanish uh, for anyone that's looking um, for a new trade or to improve their job skills. Most of our uh, classes are located at our uh, skilled, trade, uh, skilled Trades lab here at the Beltline Education Center. We're over here at 3200 Bush Street. We're kind of in between um, Wake Forest Road and Atlantic Avenue. We had a great location. Um, uh, I've got a short video of a gentleman that was in our certified apartment maintenance tech program. Um, that had a very uh, great um, adventure uh, while taking his class and also being able to get a credential to get a higher uh, paying job. Hey, I don't hear the, the video. Uh, let me let me go back. Something might have happened to our uh, sound. Let's go back to that. If you if you. Stop sharing and start sharing. Oh, there we go, we got it. Okay. Welcome to Wake Tech, where short-term workforce continuing education could be your ticket to a great job. Hi, my name is Andrew Mordiff, and two and a half years ago, I was working at a grocery store for less than $10 an hour. Then I joined a Wake Tech continuing education workforce program. And after 16 weeks of dedicated studying and work and great teaching experience, I landed a job with Drucker and Falk as an apartment maintenance technician. I went from less than $10 an hour to $15 an hour. And it has been a great experience ever since. And I owe it all to this great Wake Tech program that offers hundreds of different pass forward and skills and hands-on experience that will give you a leg up on the competition, pass forward to degrees, and so much more. And all it is doing is waiting for you to hop on board. And as you can see, we've got a lot of classes that are under six months. Uh, We've got a few here that are under a month or less. We've got our EPA refrigerant recovery recycling uh, certification. This is an 18 hour course. Um, we offer building, plumbing, electrical and mechanical code standard inspection. Those run between 16 and 32 uh, hours. Typically they run Friday, Saturday, Sunday and they're online uh, using Teams. We do have a blueprint reading that's uh, 24 hour course that prepares students to demonstrate and understand terminology and symbol recognition for construction projects. And a very popular OSHA 10, is, that's a 10 hour, uh, this entry level, uh, provides entry level uh, construction workers how to recognize, it, recognize and prevent hazards on the construction uh, work site. Some of our three month programs include our construction project management is 115. 
welding. Um, we offered that particular class at our South Campus. This is a 96 hour uh, class, uh, heat pumps, uh, operation, installation, and service. We offer both in English and in Spanish. Those are also 96 hours uh, designed for students to learn components, heat pump cycle, service theory, controls, troubleshooting, and uh, interpret heat pump uh, schematics. Uh, our general contract is exam prep. That's a 40-hour course that prepares candidates for the uh, NASCLA. That's the accredited uh, examination for commercial general building contractors. Um, other th three months or less programs include the electrical contractors exam prep. That's a 36 hour course that prepares students for all classifications of the North Carolina electrical contractors exam. Uh, special focus on limited, intermediate, and unlimited classifications. Um, we got also offer Carpentry 1 and Carpentry 2. Carpentry 1 is just you learn like your uh, basic construction framing. Uh, there is a small project that students are able to complete when they take Carpentry 1. Uh, you kind of build on those foundations when you uh, take the Carpentry 2 class. That's also a 96 hour class. It's a little bit more advanced. You go uh, into more theory and more construction methods, uh, such as the, the different kind of uh, interior finishes and uh, installing drywall. Some of the six month or uh, less programs, we have a heating and air conditioning. Uh, that's also in English and it's in Spanish. That's 100 hours and it's going to uh, uh, give students uh, uh, information as it relates to heating and air conditioning equipment components, uh, con condensers, evaporators, compressors, uh, metering devices, refrigerants, and electrical and mechanical circuits. Um, our certified apartment maintenance uh, technical training program. This is a 160 uh, hour uh, program. Uh, this is like for entry level employment and, and maintenance in the rental housing industry. Um, it covers interior and exterior maintenance, electrical, plumbing, HVAC and appliance repair. Our electrical wiring residential, that's also both in English and in Spanish. This is a 100 hour course. Uh, provides uh, skills and knowledge of becoming an electrician. Um, also, you have hands-on uh, 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 demonstrations of wiring techniques, methods um, uh, when you're in our, uh, the Wake Works uh, lab. Uh, electrical wiring, uh, we also have that in English and in Spanish. That's a 96-hour course of hands-on instru instruction in uh, standard wiring techniques, methods, and materials. Uh, most of our classes and programs has a industry recognized credential, uh, starting with certified apartment maintenance tech that's recognized by uh, the National Apartment Association. At the end of the class, you will uh, sit for an exam, uh, just like uh, a lot of the uh, other classes and credentials. Carpentry one, carpentry two. We uh, have uh, a certification from the Home Builders Institute electrical wiring, electrical wiring in Spanish, also with the Home Builder, Builders Institute, uh, the electrical contractor exam prep that's from the State Board of Examiners for Electrical Contractors. Uh, we offer offer a uh, certified fiber optics tech that's uh, from the, the Fiber Optic Association. We also have that program in Spanish. Uh, heating and air conditioning, uh, HVAC from the EPA, uh, Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, we also have it in Spanish. Uh, we have a homeowner repair and maintenance that's from, uh, we get a credential, so it's got a credential in the, uh, the Home Builders Institute. The North Carolina Code Officials, the, the building, electrical, mechanical, and plumbing, that's all from the North Carolina Code Official Qualification Board. Uh, the welding and the blueprint do not offer a uh, industry recognized credential, but you do get a weight tech uh, certificate at the end of completing that class. Uh, the Certified Apartment Maintenance Technician Training, uh, we have the next class starting spring 2025. Uh, this is going to prepare you for the entry level employment uh, and the cover is going to uh, 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 the class is going to cover a lot of information as it relates to interior, exterior maintenance, electrical sy sy symptoms, systems, plumbing, HVAC, and appliance maintenance and repair. Uh, the course fee is going to include the tuition, uh, 
the textbook and the exam fee. And then once you take the, the class, you'll be able to prepare to take the certificate or, or the exam to, to get your certificate for apartment maintenance technician. We also uh, work with the Triangle Apartment Association. That's also uh, one of the uh, business partners we have uh, to help students find jobs in that particular area. We do have a prerequisite for this when it's the GED or high school diploma or a CRC bronze level or above. Um, our really uh, big program that we have for skilled trades is our Wake Works Apprenticeship Program. This is a partnership between Wake Tech and Wake County uh, to address the shortage of technical workers in the region while giving students a unique opportunity to earn income while earn, uh, learning a new skill. Apprentices can gain on-the-job training at local employers, learning sought after skills in various fields, garnering industry recognized credentials and degrees, all while earning a paycheck. Um, the three main areas we have in the apprenticeship field is carpentry, electrical and HVAC. Um, electrical was one of the most popular HVACs, uh, second popular, and then carpentry. We use uh, a curriculum from the National Center of Construction, Education, and Research, uh, which they are nationally uh, known and have that uh, accreditation and certification that uh, the construction industry uh, identifies with. Um, students are typically start with your core class, which is a uh, introduction to basic construction skills. Once you take the core, you also will be taking, uh, go get your CPR first aid certification. You'll get an OSHA 10 um, certification, uh, as well as a NCCER core completion certificate. Uh, when you're in the program, uh, you'll work with a career navigator to, uh, to help you select your trade of interest, uh, either the carpentry, electrical, or HVAC. Once you select your interest of trade, you'll complete a levels one through four. Uh, with each level, you'll get an NCCER certification uh, after completion. Uh, after you complete your level two, you'll will attend a hiring event and to get uh, to get hired by one of our business partners. That's really when you start to get your on the job training and uh, all those hours of on the job training will count towards your journeyman's uh, license certification. Um, and when you're um, also working with our business partners, we will provide you with a toolkit for that specific trade uh, that you're going into. Uh, the toolkits range from like a thousand uh, to like thirteen hundred dollars. Um, Open enrollment for the spring 2025. Uh, that's something that will be starting uh, and it's new. And basically what that means is instead of going uh, through the uh, application process and just say you want to uh, learn more hands on and, and you want to get a better understanding of the construction trade, the open enrollment, you can just take the class without getting into the program. That's going to start this spring and we should have class uh, class schedules out in the next few weeks. Um, a lot of the work uh, weight works apprenticeship pathways it, typically you would just uh, complete an application uh, start with the interest form online at weight tech submit that in you'll be contacted by the career navigator and our apprenticeship staff uh, they'll get you an application and then from there you get into the program uh, and again you'll attend our orientation you'll start with core uh, work with your career navigator and uh, decide what trade area. The open enrollment is going to be different where you'll still attend an orientation, but you would not have to go through the uh, application process. You can just register for the core. Once you complete the core, uh, the goal is you can see if you're looking to get into the apprenticeship program, um, if it's something that you're interested in. Paying for college, uh, we have a lot of uh, um, scholarships and grant. Uh, the first one too, going back to Wake Works Apprenticeship. Once you are uh, entered into the apprenticeship, Wake Works Apprenticeship Program, uh, that covers all your tuition, your books, um, for for the duration that you're in the program. Uh, we also have a Propel, uh, which is a work our Workforce Continuing Education Division. Um, it, it provides scholarships uh, that cover the cost of registration, fees, books, 
course uh, specific supplies and credentialing exams. Uh, there's also various scholarships that Wake Tech provides, um, and that's just financial assistance to, to students, uh, and you, they do not have to be repaid. Uh, there's also uh, grants. Uh, uh, the federal government and North Carolina lawmakers have set aside money to make college more accessible to low income individuals. And again, like scholarships, uh, grants uh, do not have to be repaid. There's private loans in addition uh, uh, to these other uh, grants and scholarships uh, to pay for your, your college. Uh, along with that, uh, our support services are really uh, great. Um, you know, uh, to help students, you know, if you ever come through any kind of education uh, learning hurdle, uh, we have a, a fabulous uh, tutoring and learning center. Uh, there is free, free services. They're both in person and online. I know everyone is busy and uh, if you need these services, you can just go online, make an appointment and then meet uh, virtual. Uh, there's also, we have a, a care center. Uh, when life's uh, challenges threaten to derail your academic endeavors, Wait Tech's Care Center can provide guidance and resources to help you stay on track. We also offer disability support services for uh, students who have a documented physical, uh, psychological, or learning disability. Um, once you complete uh, one of our classes or programs, take a look at our career services. Uh, they have resources to guide you in the career, your career decision decision making process and develop an action plan for you. Uh, to register for any of these classes, we have three easy ways you can register online. Uh, at, you can go to uh, workforce.waitech.edu. You, know, you can register in person at any of the campuses, or if you just want to complete a registration and send it by mail. And does anyone have any questions about skilled trades? Sorry, we put a couple of questions in the chat. Um, okay. There was a question earlier about um, you were talking about the popularity of different programs, mm -hmm. um, and there's a question about. Uh, is there is there a reason you think for the order in that popularity? Um, like for the electric, like I would say our our popular, just you know student interest and you know the uh, the job market. Uh, we we're sending a lot of folks get hired in the electrical, but also to you know when I'm saying uh, if we had to put it, uh, you know the, our top rated electrical than HVAC, but they, they're kind of like hand in hand too, you know, when it comes to the numbers. So we we get, uh, we have a lot of business partners in both the electrical and HVAC. Actually, uh, some of our students are getting ready to go to a hiring event uh, coming in November here at uh, Bush Street. We, we host the hiring events, we invite our business partners, but that, they, that kind of dictates too of like, you know, once you're out of the program where you're working and what are some of the most popular areas Areas. Uh, I think someone asks, is asking about the apprenticeship opportunities only available in Wake County. Yes, they are. It's just for um, Wake County um, residents. I did put a link in there in reference to uh, how to uh, register uh, for any of the uh, uh, skill trade classes and workforce continuing ed. And yes, if you get into the Wake Works Apprenticeship Program, you do not have to pay a dime. And do I have any more questions, comments? Is everyone ready to take uh, to leap into a new career in skilled trades? I will provide some information. Um, again, my name is uh, Larry Bowie. 
I'm an instructional supervisor for our construction and maintenance uh, skilled trades. Uh, here's my email and my phone number, along with Maria Obregon. She's our coordinator of construction and maintenance and skilled trades, uh, along with her email and phone number. Please reach out to us. We'll be glad to assist you any way we can to get you into any of the programs, or if you have additional uh, questions, please reach out. Uh, and we would love to see you in a skilled trade. Thank you so much. Harry, we had a question. Uh, does the student need to have a high school diploma or a GED? I know some programs need that and some do not. Uh, can you, I know you mentioned uh, that earlier. Can you speak to that? Uh, really, the only one we were asking a prerequisite is the uh, the certified apartment maintenance tech. The, all the other ones, um, you do not need a high school diploma or GED. Oh, the Wake Works Apprenticeship program, you will you also will need a high school diploma or GED. And Steve, to your question about how do we decide on whether to sign up for classes or apprenticeship, um, I'd certainly encourage you to reach out to that uh, apprenticeship at wagetech.edu and, and and chat with them. That's a wonderful opportunity to get some some great paid uh, education that will prepare you for in demand jobs. Um, beyond that, we have a whole host of other great classes that you can take. You will be paying for those unless there's financial resources available. But I would, if you're interested in that apprenticeship program, that's that's a that's a great deal. So I would I would certainly suggest reaching out to them. Yeah, and and another another thing too, kind of to look at if you're deciding do you want a class, you want to be in the Weight Works apprenticeship, kind of look at a lot of the classes. Look at those as pre-apprenticeship. Uh, they're designed to like be quick, uh, get a credential to get into the workforce. Uh, once you take this example, one of the HVAC classes we have, this you know under six months, you. You might decide, you know, once you take that, you'll get your EPA certification. You might decide you want to pursue a career in HVAC. So you might decide, oh, let me just enter into the apprenticeship program. So it's a good, a lot of our classes are a good test drive to go into uh, different other areas of construction and even into curriculum programs. That's a great point. I think Carmen had asked about, do you qualify for grants to the program if you're not a Wake County resident? Um, I think a lot of the the scholarships and grants, um, I think you, I believe that you would need to be a, a Wake County resident. Um, that's also, that might be a question too for our financial aid department. Yeah, that's a great question for them. There are there are grants and financial resources for which you have to be a North Carolina resident, and there's some for which you have to be a Wake County. And, uh, uh, you can jump right into the apprenticeship program. Yes, you can. Uh, just what you'll need to do is you'll have to complete a registration form in uh, again, our staff will reach out to you along with a career navigator to kind of uh, to, to get you through the process. You'll have to attend an orientation, uh, complete paperwork, um, and once accepted, um, you're in the program. 
but start now. Uh, I think I think another uh, question was when is the new semester start? January of 2025, and classes fill up really quick. So I definitely would you know get on the ball. Uh, we are working on schedule, so that should be out in the next few weeks. But um, yeah, definitely reach out to the apprenticeship um, area at Wake Tech uh, to go ahead and start your application. Uh, most of the classes are in the evening uh, from 6 to 9.30. The, the Career Navigator, once you complete the uh, initial application to the Wake Works Apprenticeship, uh, that's when you'll have access to the Career Navigator, which will help you kind of like guide you through uh, the program. You know, after you take core, uh, so you you know, if you're debating, you want to go into electrical, you want to go into uh, you know HVAC. They'll kind of help you uh, find your you know the interest, uh, trade interest that uh, that you would like to pursue. Yeah, um, most of the schedules will be out, you know, here shortly in the next few weeks. Um, yeah, we are working on other uh, trade areas, um, plumbing. Um, we're looking at uh, getting some plumbing classes. Uh, we do have an, uh, the non-credit welding, which is nine, uh, 96 hours at our South Campus. And again, those schedules will be coming out. Plumbing we don't have um, available as of yet, but we are working on uh, trying to get some plumbing classes started uh, this spring 2025. Hey, I think I'm going to stop the recording. If there's any other questions, I uh, would love to love to grab those. Uh, well, we can stay on the line for for longer, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording at this point. Right. Thank you, Paul. Does anyone have any more questions as it relates to skilled trades or weight work apprenticeship classes and programs? <clears throat> 